because they are 2 0 up. They go into the finals with a 1 0 lead. If And they are on 2 0 at the moment. If they win this. Um, yes, they won't. <laughs> I think it means yes, they will. <laughs> They're just giving each other some shit. <laughs> nice, I like it. This is good. Also, guys, have you got any suggestions on um, the channel and how you think you could be improved or the look or anything like that? Then give me a shout. Uh, I'm always up to, up for playing in teams as well, playing with new people, um, and anyone, yeah, guys. So just uh, give me a shout. I'm always up for getting better and any tips or whatever as well. I'm the newest out of all the casters, so I've been doing the least the least time. Um, it's not an excuse, but uh, sometimes you have to bear with me because I'm still getting my casting shoes, even though I've been here for like three months. <laughs> um, but yeah, I cast other stuff as well. So um, if you want any tournaments casted or you want to have me watch your games and try and help you maybe, then I can probably do that. But you can learn a lot from watching these um, these games that are happening tonight. Especially teams like uh, Frog, who are doing very well at rotating in and out. Also Red, also BYOBY as well. But we can see, right, so we're going to be moving into the map now. We are going to be looking at our splits. And I will put the map... On, almost did that. Oh, almost. So we'll see Frog versus BYOB. BYOB at the moment have a 2 0 lead in our final match, uh, in our finals of this Frog tournament. Um, so if they win this match game, we will be seeing Frog, uh, BYOB winning the tournament in a whole. Uh, Frog really needs to try and come back here. Hopefully, we won't get a DC. We'll see how we go now as we go into the midpoint. Barman. Barnum at the moment versus Kashmir on the mid. Grotchaton rotating out to help and support in the team fight. Um, sorry, in the fight over at Quarry against Blue. Uh, Blueberry going to have a little bit of problem here against the Thief and the Guardian. The Guardian is just going to be popping off boons for uh, Ed for Ed at the moment and unfortunately he's not going to be doing too well so Blue is just going to be trying to keep this point contested for as long as possible as you do see he is going to go down in the very very near future right about now um, Crutchton going to get that down he's going to count that point and he's going to move back to mid as soon as he possibly can Kashmir now and Bullets of Joe and Popka now moving into the mid putting as much pressure as they can um, but at the moment Ed is very much free casting with that short bow out on the side and they need to try and get some dam focus damage on him because he's going to be able to get a lot of damage a AOE wires down on the actual team of BYOB. Um, Popcar doing a nice, nice job there. Oh, it did. I think Grotchard did see, but Pop, Popka just putting down that Shadow Refuge to try and sneak around to get the quarry, possibly decap. So, very, very nice job from Grotchard, but unfortunately, he's not in the team fight. It's a very nice move from Popcar. I think he potentially did that to try and maybe even just make sure the Grotchard was out of the fight because I know, I think they know that if he's in that fight, that they are. Um, not going to have a, a massively good time, but unfortunately, Grotchot, for them, Grotchoton has just got back into the fight. Kashmir is very, very low on HP, getting focused down there. Trained down very, very hard. Arco fan was very much, um, oh, just getting down Kashmir there. Very, very good for a frog on the mid fight. They've got two guys down currently on the map. Um, Blueberry's just over, uh, whoa, on the, on the waterfall with Kyle Warrior. He's having a bit of trouble at the moment. Just going to try and get a little bit of distance. Got two stacks of tournament. But that's the last. Ah, oh, there you go. He got rid of those conditions. Now he's got a lot of might building up. So you're going to see his damage coming out very, very shortly, hopefully. But he. <coughs> but unfortunately, Kyle is very much a similar spec. So. You know, he's, he's going to be in a better position there because he didn't have to worry too much. Grotchaton knows that he doesn't need to support that point. So blue going down all over the map at the moment. It looks like we're going to see a free cap for red. Um, and this is a good comeback as they go into this match with a 2-0 deficit. This is a good looking... This is going to be good. We're going to be... looks like at the moment... Uh, we'll be heading to a Kylo. It's very early to call as we only have 100 points, but it is a free cap. We do see um, Alice Lust trying to move over towards the quarry, but Ed <laughs> Ed is actually just taking them down as they're wandering, is, is wandering over. Uh, Ed's just going to kind of... Ed's just going to take him down, basically. It's a big lead now coming out for, uh, for Frog at the moment. They are 2-0 down. 
but it is very, very good. They've left the media open. They're very, very confident across the map at the moment. I mean, nice little rotation from Arco Fern into the mid um, for Frog. Popka now trying to get as much damage as he can. Groshton coming back in there as well to try and assist Arco with taking him down. Kashmir as well coming in as well for Popka um, to try and help heal him up. But Popka's going to ro- rotate out very, very quickly. Uh, Groshton now... <coughs> and Kashmir on this midpoint don't think they're going to be fighting each other they're just going to kind of stand there because um, they know there's no point uh, but it's Ufjar on about 50% HP just going to have a look at him uh, moving over to the quarry point he's going to try I think he's good, needs to hurry up and try and potentially get onto that quarry because Red really really pushing ahead now free cap um, Edar now going down off point so that's going to be a positive for them he needs to get him down quickly Grosjeton coming in with that knockback on the res with that trait no not enough damage coming out oh there was indeed but it's if Joe able to get that down off Arco fans down they need to get a knockback potentially did get the stun off unfortunately not able to do it in time Arco fan does go down from that finisher love that finisher so much Grosjeton now coming in um, trying to put a lot of bunkerage down this point so they can keep it getting feared into that fence which is uh, very good for him gonna Alice Lost now able to doing a good job trying to range out trying to get onto that rock and do a lot of range damage we actually just got a lot of focus down there now gonna put that AoE for ability on Death Shroud but bar none now getting focused and going down so they are slowly taking care of them but the fact is that now Red have stretched their lead to 250-ish points. Blue need to come back as soon as possible. Even though they are winning two games out of um, in this tournament so far, at the moment by the score, you wouldn't think it would be happening because they are getting outplayed at the moment. Alice Last is, um, is trying to hold this point for as long as possible. Grushton just... I think there's a bit of a graphic bug there. It looked like he was taking a crap. <laughs> Grushton's on is on about 15% HP as he's coming round. We do see that uh, Alice Lost was in Death Shroud. They're getting off a lot of damage. Grushton getting the res all from... Oh, God, just nice res. Arco able to get that res off now. Uh, Grushton's going up for the Empower. Did get interrupted. Alice Lost pr- probably going to try and move back up to that range point up here. Um, but he is going to get focused down by Arco. He's able to put so much damage on him and stun and immobilize that he's able to just p- pretty much just pee him off. So he's not going to actually be able to get out there whatsoever. But Arco fans still so much focus on Alice Lust. Wants to get him down. Grosjeton trying to build up that might as he's running around off the point. But Alice Lust too much in the end. Just getting down there by Grosjeton. No one able to do a thing about that. And Blueberry is kind of stuck off point um, while trying to get keep the point contested. But at the moment there's a lot of contestion going on and there's not a lot of point taking going down for, for Blue. And this they're just streaming ahead further. Still about three, 250 points. No points being gained as you you can see 309 to 64 um not sure where this is going to come from it does look like oh eddie is probably on the good end of this fight although popco is able to get a little bit of damage off does look like a nice little fight going down over still got that shadow refuse so might have to get off point quite soon to use that is he going to pop into his oh it's just a little short boat fight and they're just waiting for their to try and oh no gonna try and get some aoe there Two bleeds, got his heel off. Oh, that was nice. Needs to try and get back on the point now. Gonna try and get his little. Oh, it did immobilize him. Got him off the point. What's gonna happen here? He's got his signet. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Ed, doing a good job. Uh, Popka was able to just port back onto the top there, um, keeping that decap from happening for just a little bit longer. Um, Red got the quarry as well, still at the moment, but have left it open. Uh, Waterfall now, still in control of, uh, just in the control of Red. So we've got another two cap coming out for Red. Red hit 350. Looks like maybe they might go for the um, for the Lord. They do have, at the moment, they do have that gate open. Uh, we might see Ed moving, starting to move. Also, we might see Red starting to move to the waterfall and then maybe towards the uh, Lord at the moment. Because we do see, um, I think we see Arco. Yeah, we see Arco fan and Barnum just taking care of Blueberry. Maybe uh, take him down and maybe start to push. Not sure if they're going to go for the Lord because maybe they're so solidly got the lead they could probably do it. I think they maybe just want to not risk it whatsoever because they if they lose this game, they've lost everything. Um, so they want to try and keep this for as long as they can and just basically win the match the good old-fashioned way. Um, so as we see in this fight, currently, Frog are caning B 
BYOB. 400 points to 69. 69 is a good number to end on, but not when you're losing. <laughs> oh! Going to go for the down. Got him. Nice one. Okay, so, right. Blue taking control, potentially, of the mid-fight. But he's going to be a bit too late. 411 points down to uh, up against 74. Bluetooth Joe now coming in as well against Kyle. Trying to get him down. Trying to get this waterfall point as soon as he can. It, unless Red really makes some big errors, it's not looking massively good for them. Uh, yes, it is indeed best of five. Uh, at the moment, BYOB are two up, but Frog are on the red team, and they will. If they win this, they will come back. Um, it will be two one, and they need to win three matches to win. So it's very exciting to see. Of course, Blue BYOB do come into this uh, tournament, into this final with a one zero head, uh, one zero um, advantage because they were the winners of the winners bracket. Um, but the uh, team of Frog did go into the loser bracket and came back um, against Lamb in the last match. So we will, so we do see them come into this tournament with a zero, with no kind of uh, benefit because of that. Because otherwise, it would be a little bit unfair if the losers could just come back into the tournament and have uh, <laughs> and just get back into the final. So it's kind of, kind of good for the winning team in the winner bracket to have that one nil ahead. Um, benefit which is very very good very good nice way of doing it um blue do have the waterfall have the only cap of the game at the moment but they do have quarry now as well so we see them having the two outer points so they're gonna start getting points very fast now so i'm wondering what ha is happening to frog as they start making these big errors the big free cap is coming out for blue now this is a big comeback coming from these guys they've doubled their points in the last couple of minutes we only have four minutes left it is possible to get the points as we as it stands at the moment, but it's not looking too good for Frog. I've got to say they need to come. But they need to really get some pressure on Frog. Are wandering around aimlessly at the moment, one by one. They only need to hold one point for the rest of the match. But if Blue can get another two, just under two hundred points, they could potentially still win this and get the actual tournament three zero, which would be a really big upset for Frog. I'm not sure they've been in this position before, where they've been. Um, uh, they were unlucky in the last match with the DC, and they were on that 1-0 deficit because they were in the loser's bracket, which is unfortunate for them. But Popka coming in now for Kyle. Um, they're after him. They're going to keep this cap. But if someone from Red can come in now, they could possibly get the D cap. Uh, Grotchaton's got a lot of pressure. did have a lot of pressure on him at mid. But I think they're just going to keep this contested. Uh, Alice Lust is going to stay in the midpoint, try and keep that damage coming on to him. Um, which is probably going to happen in the end of the day. He's doing quite well at the moment to keep up. But if anyone comes into that point DPS-wise, Grotchaton is going to be down. He needs to be rotating still into and out of the points like he's been doing. He's getting stuck on his own, which is what I feel is probably potentially the reason that Red are currently losing the moment. He did actually go down at mid as well with the cow coming down on the face and that poison fart breath. Oh, grim as. But basically, Eddie is now coming in there as well. They need to get some focus on one point. They need to Zerg a point, and they need to keep it. Because look, Blue are 260 points now, and they're coming back, guys. They are coming back. Another 100, another 80, 70 points. They're going to possibly go for the Lord kill. And Red have been on this same point score for the last four or five minutes. Not much has changed. About 20 points up. This is absolutely epic for these guys. They just need to go for the Lord Rush. Red need to do it now because Blue are getting so close to this rush where the potentiality for getting this is going to be very close. And if BYOB can pick this off, they will hit 3-0 against Frog, which I cannot believe is going to happen without a fight. Frog really need to pick this up. They need to move. And they need to move now. Will they do it? They've got the door down as well, but there's no one moving. Grotch Kyle is here now as well. Alice Lust is just moving in on the point to keep it contested. Blue have only got the one cap, but they're only 40 points away now from getting this potential rush now. I'm not sure what they're going to do. I'm not sure what's going to happen. So this is such an epic comeback from BIOB. This is just the proof that you can never count someone out. And I, all <coughs> I didn't. I didn't bloody do it. <laughs> 
This is so good from there. It's so nice to see a cover out. We see contestion at the moment going on all over the shop. Pop is going to potentially die giving Frog five points right there. Oh, don't think so. Maybe Bullet Suit is going to get the res. Can he get another stun off using that paper? Oh, use nice. Did use that smoke bomb at the correct time. Pop is going to get res. I think not much bar none can do. And now he's going to be on the on the wrong end of this fight, unfortunately. Uh, things changed so, so quickly. Bar Num now going down to about 25% HP, 20% HP. He's been very much focused in this mid fight. Can someone come help him? Our co fan is going to be starting to nail onto Popco as well now. As we do see Bullet Tooth Joe, it's a very, very equal fight on the mid fight at the moment. Bar Num, though, is looking very, 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 very much in trouble. He needs to get out of the AoE as much as possible, um, fast as possible. So, going to just double check to see where he is. There he is. So, he's, yeah, he's not got that nature spirit anytime soon he's got a good couple of minutes two and a half minutes needs to get those spirits up as soon as he can not sure he's realized he's very very much in the fight needs to get those up fast we do see the red have managed to pull back quarry will blue be able to get another two cap to potentially get the extra points but we do see there's only five Oh, there's only 50 seconds to go. And can Blue get a couple of points here and there? Maybe get a Lord Rush in this? I just do not know. It's a very unfortunate. Don't know why Frog haven't gone for this. It's making it very, very difficult for my voice right now as it seems to be running out. Um, <laughs> there's so much contestion going over on the map, but the, the quarry is taken. Still have it. They're going to have the full cap. They're going to get five points. Frog are going to take it. Three points left on the map. Whoa, nice comeback from BYOB there. So good. They held them at like 400, between 400 and 450 for absolutely ages. Uh, a good four or five minutes there, which is very nice. Um, it's currently two. One to, uh, to BYOB. I'm just going to date very quickly I might just put the scores up just because it's the best of five um and it might help you guys 